So, welcome back to the action here at St. John's College. St. John's uh, College is on Tin World first team. And an unfortunate shot there for Tinwald, but this would also be a fantastic result for Tinwald if they were able to win this one. Watershed walking away with a 19-8 victory. That was the Watershed uh, second team. Tinwald now trying to get the shot away, but that was too tight a space to try and get that done. Oh, lovely pass. Decides to pass it out as he was taken by momentum. A three-point shot doesn't come off. And now Tinwald trying to get down the court. Drives into the key. And that, of course, is a foul. Looking for the pass. But that pass in as clever as it was. Didn't quite go to hand. So, John's up on it. St. John's looking now to drive in and take the shot. Unlucky. Now down the court. Still no side able to get a shot away. And at that point, finally, St. John's drawing a foul and getting two free throws. Oh, nails the first one. And gets the second one, too. Now Tinwald. Oh, looking for a deft pass. But didn't quite get it. And didn't execute it in the way that he would have wanted. Tinwald with an intercept. And they win the possession. Now all by himself, can he get it? I understand 
what he was trying to do there, but it didn't happen. Ball goes out, St. John's still with it. Now looking to go into an attacking pattern. Trying to look for some gaps. Pass goes out, goes for the turn. Can he get the shot away? And that is traveling. Now picked up by Tinwald. Uh, number 10 needs to watch out for his shoelace. Hopefully somebody can tell him that. And Tinwald still looking for their first basket. And unfortunately they can't get it right there. Finally the number 10 does see his shoelace is off. So clearly he was listening to the commentary box. Now Tinwald on the counter. Can he finish it off? Oh, second bite of the cherry. Goes for the turn. Oh, doesn't bury the shot. Oh, looked for the pass. Found it. Number 11 looking for the shot. I was way up. Tinwald once again. Another opportunity. Can he finish it? Oh my word. Didn't have enough juice in that shot. So already three attempts at a basket. And all three have been failed. St. John's. Again. Oh great block. Oh, great block from Tinwald. Tinwald also looking quite good on defense, but not so great on attack. Now St. John's coming back with it quickly into the key. Oh, that was some <laughs> physical stuff right there. Young man full of steel bumping his opponent down. That calls for a timeout. Six minutes on the clock. It is a running clock. Still the first half and St. John's leading two points to nil. So we're back in the mix after that timeout break. St. John's get the shot and this time round two points in. Tinwald still to score. A pass does come out looking for that shot. Ball into the key, goes round and nails it. Finally get their two points on the board. I'm sure that will put some confidence in them. And St. John's miss out on an opportunity to score more. Great turn from Tinwald. Now finds himself past one. 
gets the ball into the key. Can he find the pass outside? The shot. Oh, just couldn't get it over. Still a lot of work to do here for Tinwald. Tried to go for the shot, but that one taken out of his hands. Now picking up the shot and that is a foul. Ah, oh, beautiful shot on the free throw. Nails the second one, so 6-2 in the lead. Now Tinwald on the drive down the court. Still able to pick up the ball and Tinwald looking like they do have a bit of shape but just need to get their shots in. Need to be a little bit more incisive. Ball comes out. And that one is knocked out of the hands of St. John's. But one and a half minutes left in this half. Oh my word. It was almost pulled apart there. And so it will give him an opportunity for free throws. Uh, misses the first one. And the second one too. So, Tinwald still do have some time on the clock to maybe half this deficit. A pass straight into the key. But just can't put his hands on it. St. John's now can easily control the game for the last 30 seconds and go into the halftime break. But they decide to go for two and miss the shot altogether. Tinwald with a long pass. Can they find that basket? Oh, what a shot. Bounces a couple of times on the ring, but finally makes its way in the hoop. So 12 seconds on the clock. Tinwald who want to go to the halftime break still holding on to a fantastic lead or rather trailing just by two points and not necessarily leading and so that is the halftime break and St. John's are leading six points to four against Tinwald. Tinwald very much in this game. Like this. Uh, 
And so uh, we're back into the second half of this one, St. John's. Oh, great block. That was a poor pass. And so that is a foul. And two free throws here for Oh my word. Doesn't go in. Quite unlucky there. And unlucky on the second attempt as well. Ah, oh, but ref calls in their favor, Canton will do something, a pass into the key, goes for the shot and again draws another two points. This time round he gets one in. And gets the second one in. So that's a really good play. Nine points to six. St. John's still in the lead. But Tinwald still in with the shout. Riff. And this time. St. John's being a bit too fancy. And so the sound in the background that you can hear is that of the St. John's College Pipe Band. It is part of their practice session in the afternoon and I'm sure they will be used very significantly when it comes to the rugby season and even most likely when the derby match between St. John's College and St. George's will take place this coming Friday. A, a tribute to tradition. One of the only two schools in Zimbabwe that has a pipe band. And as we say that, St. John's College, Duncan, another two. So the second school obviously being Churchill High School. And a quick fire, two points. is now allowing St. John's College to try and pull away here. But while still talking about pipe bands, 
St. John's College are the current champions, world champions of a particular school's competition that was held outside of the country. And we do have a timeout called Tinwald trailing by seven points, but there are seven minutes left. So who knows? They might just be able to pull out pull one out of the hat. So here we are back in the second half, six and a half minutes left. And St. John's College leading 13 points to six. Tinwald uh, court traveling. And for those that may not know traveling, it is steps taking three or more steps ultimately is counted as traveling and hands position back to the opposition and another nice and easy two points gives the st john's a nine point lead oh two attempts two bites of the cherry and none of them go in Gets another easy two points. And now easily pulling away. So not so sure if Tinwald here is tired, but the number of mistakes. And they finally get their own set. So tried to really squeeze into a space that was quite tricky. But again, four substitutes run on for St. John's. Three-point attempt. And collected by Tinwald. Looking for the long pass to their number 10. Losing control. Great pass into the key. Tries the shot. And Tinwald is still in control at this moment. now once again slowing the game down but time is something that they don't have 
And with that, they don't make a significant move. St. John's. Looking for the shot. Uh, doesn't get it. Now Tinwald collects. Can they drive much faster down the court? Losing control of the ball whilst on the run. Looking for that pass and outlet. Finds. Doesn't find one in the key. Oh, wow. That was an intercept, but it also came with a lot of physical touch and physicality. And surely that should be the final nail in the coffin. Two minutes left on the clock. St. John's leading 17-8. They would say it has been a relatively comfortable victory. And they don't get that one in, so a substitution for Tinwald. That three-point attempt doesn't work out. Collected by Tinwald, but ripped away by St. John's. Three-point shot. Wow. Number 12, a little bit too eager. And that's it. 34 seconds left on the clock now. Now it's just a matter of pride that one goes in. And that's the buzzer, 18-8, match is over. And surely uh, Tinwald would have wanted to walk away with the famous victory, but that wasn't to be. Unfortunately, their defense was good. Their offense was not so great. So St. John's seconds walk away with an 18-8 win over Tinwald High.